Hi guys, welcome to Amayao TV. It's Friday, so that means we're bringing you top picks. We are counting down all the trends and all the stories that had social media talking this week. The most exciting, the most intriguing, and all the juice and gossip. We are bringing it to you right here. You don't want to miss it. It's our first episode in our all new studio. I know you can feel the vibes. Let us know of what you think of our new setting, and we will be right back with more. Welcome back guys and the shit kid with a swag, with a beard, is in the building. Okay. Feeling all new in our all new studio. But you can't touch us. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> now let's jump into the good, good content that we can't wait to touch. Now on number five on top picks this week is Ama Ray. Now Ghanaian artists, they are doing it big, they are putting Ghana on the map, you know, our sound is going worldwide and the fact that Ama Ray scored um, you know, a soundtrack on the Black Panther, you know, playlist is amazing. It's the second song to be released on the, the movie's playlist and it comes right after Nigeria's term featured on the official trailer. So, I mean, it's big. The fact that there's always been this Ghana Niger yes. thingy yes. and then there's a Nigerian there and the next sound they drop is, you know, features a Ghanaian and there was also a Ghanaian on the recording. I mean, so Ghanaian artists, take your flowers. I feel like this is going to be like a start to um, other music exactly. scoring bigger projects and being put on bigger adventures like Amare has and Ghanaian C let's support Amare as much as the Nigerians are making noise about him about him because it ain't no easy feat to be featured on the Black Panther exactly. especially after Chad Chadwick is gone and people yes. are eager to see what's gonna be a new. big one so kudos to Amare and kudos to Ghanaian artists we can't wait to see what's we next can't. and moving on to another high feat on our fourth story listen is that the era of breakfast last last everybody just did chop up whether it's pancake or watcher or porridge everybody is shopping their breakfast but somebody whose breakfast is not coming time and it's not coming anytime soon and has not come for 30 years is ex-president john Dramani mahama and wife miss mrs lodina mahama who just celebrated 30 years of marriage guys 30 years decade 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 three Listen, I don't know how you people cook it. I'm gonna say one one is saying I'm being and maybe I'm with the moody breakfast, but if anything with regards to that story is to go by then love is real you can achieve 30 years you can achieve even that and more and i'm going to quote mahama in this love is beautiful when you find the right person so people here at amiel tv want to wish them their best and say congratulations to them and many more years ahead guys we're moving on to our third pick and our third pick is a story i never imagined would be discussing on topics now when thomas party was signed from atletico magic to us now the bars the noise the excitement the the whole anthem, party after party, you know, got everybody excited because it's a Ghanaian doing it big on the international football scene. And then suddenly the party ended all too soon. All too soon because this news of um, rape allegations being leveled against Thomas Party is one that has come as a shock to a lot of people. Especially when the first allegation was made by someone he literally converted his religion for. So to see someone, you know, you go all about marriage and then suddenly there is the person accusing you and then there's investigation done into it and then the charges are dropped because you're not found guilty. And then the next minute on social media, there's another person who has come back to, you know, accuse you of rape again, this time with screenshots and videos of messages. And there's been a lot of debate about how true the screenshots, the person who is um, accusing Thomas Pate of rape, is because there's been incidents of um if everybody remembers um Neymar. Neymar was accused of you know physically assaulting a woman and he had to take a, a video a laptop video that captured the woman that showed that the woman was the one rather assaulting him and that got him off so in the case of um you know the screenshots being shared if thomas does not have you know one that debunks what is being shared then this looks like a very big issue for thomas and it's also not being one person but two making it more it's it's I mean, a lot of the football fans, especially the Arsenal fans, are standing behind him because a lot of footballers have seen these accusations, Ronaldo, Neymar, there's been a lot. And then 
everybody is hoping that Thomas comes out of this, you know, victorious, and then all the charges are dropped and his name can be cleared. But it's definitely going to scar his football career. That yes. everybody is sure yes. of. Because mentally, you know, the season is on break. Your teammates are preparing and you are, you know, being bombarded with rape allegations and you have to go into interrogations in and out. So mentally, emotionally, psychologically, it's definitely going to have a toll on him. But we just pray and hope that it's something that, um, you know, He'll come out of, if he's guilty, the law will deal with him. But if he's not, we just hope that he comes out of it, you know, victorious and he's able to get back to his good days of being the midfielder star boy on the Arsenal team. And guys, we are moving on to our second story. And this particular story, listen, Ghanaians for months have been in an uproar and arms in hand saying, why hasn't the president and parliament sacked Adwa Safo after missing 15 parliamentary sittings? Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, what's the point? Mm -hmm. How, and she has been gallivanting on social media. Especially TikTok. She's the queen of, she's the parliamentary queen of TikTok. And <laughs> listen, she has that old uh, black American woman church look in the front seat. <laughs> on lockdown right mm -hmm. but then finally Ghanaians have spoken and it seems that the president has listened and has sacked her from her position as gender minister even though she's still the MP for Domi Kwabenya mm -hmm. but a lot of people are asking why did it take him this long mm -hmm. we won't know but somebody that seems to have a hint on why is some um, Jata George who has revealed that apparently Adra Safo has a lot of keys on MPP and mm. Kofwado. And following the sucking, maybe she will release all the keys. And for him, and I quote him, he's ready for the fireworks. <laughs> Yeah, so now the position is not vacant, even though um, she's been sacked as Minister for Water Resources and Sanitation, Madam Cecilia, is now the caretaker minister for the ministry we are still but i mean the shock is the fact that she could still lose her position as um mp for domi kwabena because when the privileges committee sat and um, they invited her um kennedy japon and then her recording and those two went for this meeting but they called here they even arranged for zoom he didn't yes. come so after the whole meeting the privileges committee suggested that they should um they should tell the ec to announce his seat vacant i'm yes. um, sorry her seat, seat vacant. vacant so when they went to Parliament, um, the Speaker said he's consulting with some people and he's waiting, he's going to give her some grace. If by the next parliamentary sitting, mm -hmm. he sees no efforts from her, then she would probably lose her MP seat as well. So, I, I mean, I don't, she said she's a mother first before she's a minister, she, so she, she, she doesn't care. She doesn't care. care she's woman. enjoying the American life and TikTok. And the accents, though. No, I'm, I'm a mother first before I'm a minister. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> we are host first before we are political activists. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we're moving on to the story that is the story. Mm -mm. The creme de la creme. Mm -mm. It has all the juice, all the gist, all the controversy, all the allegations. Like, mm -hmm. So, this week, Ghanaians received a bombshell. Oh, I mean, oh, oh. when I say a bombshell, it was a bombshell because this is a person that, for the longest time, people never saw her. You know, publicly dating anyone. She just had exactly. an alleged papano, and everybody sort of speculated and assumed that she's living the flashy life she shows as East Legon landlady from being sponsored by papano. But this week, actress <coughs> Tracy Buache <coughs> dropped the bombshell. She was getting married. I mean, when the news came in the earlier part of the week, everybody said, Oh, it's a movie. Yeah. Oh, it's a yeah. movie. Yeah. Oh, it's a movie. I'm like, Yeah, it's definitely a movie. Like, Definitely a movie, how, you know, movie is. So, <laughs> so by Tuesday, there was a hashtag, Francis 2022, and there was a vendor list, and everybody, you know, started setting up and be like, oh, this is real. This is real. There is a wedding coming up. And even then, there were still people that were a bit skeptical and still yes. thought it's a movie. Until Tracy's official blogger, Zion Felix, you know, started dropping concrete, you know, um, evidences on his timeline and we all said okay then this is happening this is really happening so by by tuesday we woke up and there was news of a bridal shower happening and we literally glued to our phones like every minute france 2022 Felix instagram page there is there, there, there was the only source for the yes. the juice and then there was a, a candlelight all black dinner very posh very lavish we're like ooh, we are in for a ride are we coming to see kensi 2022 <coughs> or a dim crack couple 20 y'all had your hopes way too high we had extremely high because <laughs> it's, it's 
you got landed. You should have your hands. Sorry, I didn't. I saw through it. <laughs> Shame on you. <laughs> but anyways, you know there were pictures from the bridal shower, and that was when a lot of people, like ninety percent of social media users, were convinced that there was a wedding happening. And then eventually came the wedding day, which was on Thursday. Um, we didn't get a lot of videos from the ceremony. What we did get was a lot of photos. She looked very elegant in a, in a green kente with her partner. And the funny thing about her partner was, her partner was very hidden out so the Thursday for the wedding. Even yes. his name was hidden. It was C2022. The suspense. The suspense. And finally, the partner was unveiled on the day of the wedding. <laughs> it was unveiled. It was unveiled. <laughs> Unveiled on the day of the wedding, their pre-wedding shoots, mm -hmm. um, yeah. photo shoots were shared. And then the allegations started and the controversy started. I mean, controversy started. So, according to social media Kokonsa pages, you know we are very professionals, we don't do that. Yeah, we do we that. don't. The husband, the current husband of Tracy Boache, happened to be the ex-boyfriend of actress Vivian Joe. Now, Vivian Joe was not at the wedding, even though they are all in the same Kuma wood industry. So a lot of people are saying, hmm, does that mean it's true? That is what the allegation is saying. Mm -hmm. We don't know. But then on the wedding day, another thing that popped up, like I said, there were no videos from this wedding ceremony. Yes. Like literally none. Very, very private. All the photos that came, she had her hand covering her tummy all or her, her flowers fans. or her fan. You know, her tummy was very much hidden until someone sneaked a video of when she was dancing with her husband and there was the allegation very very open and broad on her tummy i mean it looked it looked very bloated but somebody would say she had always been a thick woman you know so maybe it's maybe just it's her uh, yes it's just a football it's just a tummy but then according to social media in-laws as they call themselves she might already be pregnant and had married so that it doesn't become a third baby with a third baby daddy drama or news but whichever way it is she got married she is missus now um she looked amazing on her day she 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 looked happy so we really hope for me i really hope it is the end of all the social media dramas and banters with all the things that she's been involving herself in and the uh, miss bell jabbing back and forth i i definitely have a feeling there's going to be an update to their beef of she jabbing Miss Ball for you know being married after they all fought about someone yeah. and Miss Ball is still no. By for Miss Ball is already matured, even yeah. though she, yeah they are all drama. My other aspect of the ceremony was that her very best friend, Ifia Schwarzenegger, was not in town when the ceremony began, but quickly flew back to Ghana a day before the wedding and was at the wedding ceremony as her supposed mother of the bride. So guys, if you missed all the juice, please go on Amiel TV Instagram page. We have the official photos. We have the videos of the alleged baby bump. We have videos from the bridal shower, the pre-wedding photo shoots. I mean, this whole week and this weekend is about Mrs. Tracy. So please, congratulations to Tracy. May this new journey and this new, you know, life be one of goodness and less of drama. Amen. Amen. Let, amen, the, church, amen. let the church respond. Guys, see, I ain't tired of talking too much because this week it really came with the content. We, yes, we, we really came with content. We hope you enjoyed this as much as we did. Please make sure to always subscribe to our channel when you watch us. Follow me on Instagram at I am Jackie underscore JQ. And follow me on Nana Brobe GH. And also don't forget to follow us at Amayal TV, our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, please do follow us and log on to www.amiadabad.com for the latest in the world of entertainment, news, careers affairs, everything in between. We will see you same time, same place next week, and let's dab on them. And that was such a sign out, guys. <laughs>